Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're going to make a handmade card from start to finish. I'm using a white card base. This was a 12 by 12 that I cut down to nine by eight. And I'm going to be using some matte pieces. This piece here is going to cover the front of my card, which my card base will end up being four and a half by eight. And it's a piece of pattern paper from the Jen Hadfield homemade collection. And again, that's cut to four and a half by eight. I have two other mats, a piece of Nina white cardstock cut to seven and three quarters by four and a quarter. And this beautiful piece is cut to seven and five eighths by four and one eighth. And that's a piece of collection from the Hydrangea collection from Knitwick collections. So I'm scoring my card base in half at four and a half and giving it a good crease with my bone folder. And I'm going to layer on my mat pieces. I will also have all these sizes on my blog as well, along with all the gorgeous Wild Orchid craft products that I'm using today. You'll find a list over on my blog and in the description box, along with links to Wild Orchid crafts. So again, just layering up my mat pieces. I don't end up adhering this to the card base yet because I knew I wanted to use this gorgeous lace from Wild Orchid crafts. And I wasn't sure if I was going to wrap it around that card base before adhering it down or just placing it on top. So I'm just cutting that to size. This is a gorgeous white Guy Pure lace. I'm pulling out some ivory crochet trim because I wanted to tie that in the center of the lace to gather it slightly. So I'm just going to put a knot in it and cut the excess uh, crochet twine off. And now I'm going to adhere this down to my base since I knew I wasn't wrapping the lace around it. Here's a closer look at that lace. It's absolutely beautiful. I was going to set it off to the left, but I had decided to just place it right down the center of my card. So I'm just using some hot glue and adhering that down. And now I'm pulling out these gorgeous, pretty flory flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. They were designed by a design team member and they are beautiful. As you can see, you get a lot of them in the package and several different sizes. These are the pretty flory GM flowers. And I couldn't decide if I was going to go with two different colors. In the end, I use just the pink color. So again, they come in different sizes. So I'm just pulling out the same size as the other two that I have there, cutting off a little excess of the stem. And now I'm seeing if I wanted to add again, a, another pop of color, but um, I end up adding some white flower. These are also pretty flory flowers. These are the anemone flowers, and these are absolutely stunning as well. They come in several colors and you get a lot in the pack as well. So I'm going to use two of those on the front of my card. And I pulled out these little um, wooden cutouts. The ones I have there are fullness of summer. They remind me of dandelions and they're very easy to cut, manipulate how you want. So I'm going to add two of them on my card. I'm pulling out some baker's twine and I'm just going to tie a large bow in it to spread behind the flowers. I want it to kind of peek out from both sides of the flowers. So I'm just kind of positioning it as I want, and then I will hot glue that right down into the center. And now I was happy where those were, so I wanted to go ahead and adhere those down again using hot glue. A card like this, if you're going to mail it, you need to mail it in, in a bubble envelope. I will be hand delivering this card, so I'm not worried about it. I may make a box, um, a small box for it to fit in. I haven't decided that yet. So I'm just hot gluing those in, tucking them behind the flowers and under the twine. And now I will adhere those down. I think before I actually glued them down, I knew I wanted to add some leaves. So I went ahead and added my leaves first, and then that way I could tuck the flower on top of the leaves. So I'm using several, several of the white leaves and just kind of tucking them here and there. And now I added the flowers on top of them. So 
I wanted a little more of that baker's twine to show, so I tied another little knot. I will tuck it in under the flower and then cut off the excess. That just gives it a little extra texture to my card. And now I'm pulling out these. Um, there's a little white dove, so beautiful, from Wild Orchid Crafts, so I just tuck that down there on the right. Now I'm pulling out these cream cabochon flowers. I love them because again they add texture without adding too much color. They they blend in slightly but they add a lot of texture to your card. And I put it in places that it needed a little filling. So now I'm pulling out some of the self-adhesive white and ivory pearls and I'm using the ivory ones adding those to the corners of my card. And now many everyday messages and I'm going to use the Sending Smiles, adhere that to my acrylic block, and I treated my paper with an anti-static bag first because I'm using Versamark. I'm going to stamp that down, and I'm going to be using this liquid platinum embossing powder. This is absolutely beautiful. So I'll funnel that back in, get that out of the way so I don't spill it, clean off my stamp. I'm just using a baby wipe, and then there was a little extra powder there so I brush that off with a dry brush and now I'm going to heat set that with my heat gun and now I'm going to use my Fiskars pa paper trimmer and cut that out and cut banner shapes on the end to add that. Using this um, platinum embossing powder it kind of stayed with the soft look of the card that I was going for. So I adhered that down in the center but I wanted to go ahead and add some pop dots to both both sides of that just to make sure they don't get flattened down and that's pretty much it I do take my heat gun to the flowers again just to get rid of any hot glue strings that may be hanging around so I hope you've enjoyed today's process check out the description box and my blog for all the gorgeous products from Wild or Orchid Crafts that I use and I'll leave a link I hope you stop by and check them out thanks so much for watching mm -hmm.